Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with part 14 of our Wrath of Sparta campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. And yes, we are doing well, as I say, every single, every single time. But uh, the plan is to, <laughs> the plan is to take um, this final Thessalian League settlement and deal with the Western insolence and then to go north and take on Macedon and beat them and then I'm going to try and deal with these northern Mace uh, Macedonian um, Athenian settlements and hopefully then and only then we will have dominance in this yeah, Peloponnese victory. yes yeah I'm going to deal with this rebel army because once again they are back at it and they're irritating me greatly uh, and then I'm going to push my what's this army called this is the champions of Hercules are going to push north into uh, the um, Macedonian territory as well to help out good old Pope here. Okay. And with my other army and my navy, we're going to take out the Ionian League and force them into a, a peace treaty, hopefully. And if not, we're going to have some land in uh, good old Turkey, which I don't think the Persians will be too happy about. So I need to be careful there, because if, um, if I push them too hard, they may decide to push back. And I don't know how powerful they are, because I've never got to a stage of the campaign where they've actively attacked me. No, I've seen a few... It's a bit scary. I've seen a few fleets and stuff, but they only have... Two ter uh, actually they might have a few more like two territories that we can see and then there's entire like three provinces that are yeah. currently painted orange for me I, ca I can't even see those I can only see like the, the ends of like... I c yeah I'm looking at literally the little market tells me there's a city there but um, mm. we'll cross our bridge when we get there exactly I think for the time being I'm going to quickly check my buildings so uh, Delph, Delph's going to have a new shrine because level 2 buildings throughout and Iboa is still building the farms. Once they built the farms there, we can start looking at upgrading our main province and uh, getting a bit more money in and a bit more public order and health and all the fun stuff. I say health, I mean growth. Yes. For the time being, though, we're going to beef up the Champions of Hercules because they are in dire need of more units. So we need another archer units. We've got three, six, nine hoplite. So that's another hoplite unit. And some more cavalry. And that will put my army back up to full strength. Excellent. Wings of Pegasus are going to deal with this lovely rebel army, which has decided to present itself. Um, rather, in a very cute fashion, the shield has a bumblebee on it. So we're going to kill the, bum <laughs> going to kill the bumblebees off. No, not the uh, bumblebees. I indeed. It's going to wipe them out easily and quickly because there is literally nothing to that army. There we go. And we're going to enslave the rest because I'm I'm a generous, you know. Don't want to put them generous to the, captive. Yeah, don't want to put them to the sword just yet. Nah, we'll let them work to their first. Oh. Um, let's upgrade my general to Pathfinder, and yeah, we're going to force march them back into the settlement just to improve public order, and well, yeah, to improve public order and also make them uh, replenish a bit quicker. Uh, for the time being, no, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to end my turn. I think my spy is moving north, actually. We'll keep her moving up to, to Larissa. See what's poking about up there. Very good. Uh, Athens has left her def uh, settlements undefended, surprisingly. But Larissa seems to have a full stack of Athenian troops, followed by a very broken Macedonian stack and a very broken-looking city as well. Oh. See what happens there. Yes. Right, so we've got the Festival Gods, and we have oh. plus five wealth from all sources of income. That's good. For one turn. For one turn. Thank you get I'm, to enjoy that. Yeah, I, I will enjoy that. I'm on minus 565 a turn currently, and I'm not quite sure why my income is so low. But I've seen philosophy can sort out um, and Socratic method sorts out corruption, but it's more the one after that, Platoism which does plus, plus four uh, percentage in tax and um, a little bit more in wealth. And then the one after that is cynicism, which uh, brings down corruption again. And then after that, if I keep going more down tax. that one, it's even more in tax. And yeah, it just keeps keeps buffing them out. So I might go through that and um, basically through that tree and just make a huge economy because my army is pretty strong. I've got, I can get a Hippias now. I can't get the be picked hot plights. Well, I don't think I'll ever have the need to currently. To be fair, the, the standard hoplites, when they're upgraded like mine are currently, are they're a, pretty good. Yeah, they're a match. And if you just flank, then uh, you're fairly safe. 
Oh, gotcha. So I'm going to bring... I brought my army back from a Thessalian Lee from, like, going... Well, it was sieging. Then it got pushed back. Now I'm pulling it back even more. And it's now... Uh, going to just stay there. Stay there. I've now got the Harpy's Claw. Um, an eight stack moving down to this territory here because the Sailing League are trying to bring an army to take it from me and I will not allow it. <laughs> and then and what else have we got going on? Oh yes, we've still got stupid things like the Plague of Athens, which is just beautiful. It's minus nine. Uh, well, more, nine more turns. Beautiful. And this army is actually ready to go and I could start moving on some Ionian League settlements, but I'm also at the same time a bit. Well, not. Don't want to do it. It's just not decisions. Very, decisions. Yes, it's very. It's very. Ooh, what do I do? Sort of thing. And that's a really long way away. Is that top island? I might never ever take that. Who knows? Who knows? Um. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the turn because I don't want to spend any money because I might start losing more money, and that will be bad. That'll be bad see what the uh, rest of the world's up to. Sparta's obviously uh, moving about. I think they're trying to get back down to Sparta, the looks of it. Yeah, I mean, they don't even hold it now, do they? Oh, Byzantine's no, just brought don't. up an army to uh, attack by the looks of it. Yeah, the oh, Ionian yeah. League is closing into my settlements there, the looks of it. I know they're not big enough to really do anything, I don't think, so see what happens there. Yes, hopefully we can uh, push them back. Oh god, yeah, I plan to take out their islands. If I can make a peace treaty with them, that'll stop me going into Turkey. If I can mm. stay out of Turkey, I might keep the Persian Empire passive. But there's always a chance that, like I say, I've never played against them in this DLC, so I, yeah. I don't know how powerful they are. I, I they could be, like, full stacks for one. I think they might. I'm down to minus 532. I've gone down a little bit more. I've gained money. Excellent. Really enough, and my buildings aren't even upgraded yet, so I should get a massive boost when uh, my farms are built and my harbor and my settlement, which has got manufacturing and research rate. Uh, my armies are still being built. I've got another at least what two turns to the built, so this turn, next turn, the turn after, I'll be able to invade. The wings of Pegasus are going to stay put because I can't lose my iron settlements, particularly when Athens and the Ionian League are kicking about. So let's build up our navy. I can't really go anymore. Now I need a marine. I've not even looked at my navy uh, research yet. So let's just carry on building the navy up so they've got something going for them. <laughs> I've got to have something going for us, guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to build some more armored marines, which will take five turns to make. So, But out of the sheer amount of navies kicking about, I'm going to have to wait. I know. I need to send up my huge navy to go and just start knocking some he on some heads because... It's uh, it's being a bit useful not being in a. It's like near Athens is, but it's got to be there for garrison duties as well. Yeah, and it's annoying. I mean, I'm self-conscious just if I move away like these fleets. There's a what? There's a Spartan fleet which is obviously neutral to me. You have got Athens, you got Ionian League. There's definitely more kicking about uh, west of us, so I'm gonna have to build up. So until then, I don't think there's a lot I can do. Calchas is finally starting to improve in public order, so let's just end our turn. Excellent. My spies move forwards to Larissa. There's still not a lot going on. Just like that, I've gone into a ridiculous amount of uh, debt. Well, not debt. I've now gone to 1,383. Ooh, your economy needs to uh, improve. I know. It was, it's very strange. It's been so good for so long. I think when winter ends, your farms will bring in more substance, and you'll be all right. We can hope. I'm building a uh, outskirts in Corinth, and that's going to leave me enough money to uh, survive. Put it like that. <laughs> and Byzantine has got a twenty stack in uh, fortifications ready to assault me but there quite a lot of them are militia hot plights with silver chevrons but makes them a little bit uh, uh what's the right word hardy yeah like i don't think they'll win but they're gonna do a bit of damage because even the even militia units on elite status you put them in a hoplite war and have them well defended they're gonna hold mm. 
and that's beat with an equivalent unit like my hoplites for example which are gold chevrons and gold armor and everything else yeah i'm pretty proud of my units i'm trying to get a, a treaty with um with the Thessalian League because they are kind of just in the way and it's slowing me down I don't <laughs> like I don't it's going to be hard to take them they've got enough forces left that they can just turtle quite nicely If you, so yeah I'll offer them 240 how dare you reject me I just realise the um, Ionian League have got flowers as a symbol on the shield. Oh, these people no are just all... What's Bees this? and flowers, no yeah. wonder they're friends. See, mine's got a horse and my other army. Seems to have a man fighting with a snake. Yeah. Or a man with snake arms, I can't tell. One or the other. <laughs> or a man with two pet snakes playing with them. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to move possibly get rid of an army I think Ooh. who are you might be worth might be worth getting rid of some of your weak units maybe hmm well if I move this 15 uh, 15 this 9 stack out it's down to 4 a turn um, I could possibly get rid of you, yes, the champions baby, of Olympus. Right round, baby, right round, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just spinning my camera around in circles. I'm making myself a little bit dizzy actually doing that. <laughs> oh, your viewers are in for some prime content. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'll get rid of this army. Disband. Disband this army. Your economy will definitely grow. Yeah, it's now minus 500, so we will take that. And I can always rebuild the units elsewhere if needs be. Um, the north could always do with some more troops. It's just going to be simpler to do that because this region it was under threat, but now it's from like... If it's not under threat, you'll get away with it. Yeah, it was under a threat from Athenian forces, but I can probably defend it okay on its own now. So I am going to do that, and only that, I think. Actually... You say this. I might bring this force back up again because there's no forces there. So we'll move that back north. To Ambrakia again. There's just like a great gathering of Corinthian armies on my uh, on my screen, and they're just like, really. but none of them are like big enough to really do enough damage. Am I actually? You merge them all together, then you can reduce yeah. your general count. That'll help your income because your generals are like costing like two fifty. So like, mine's one six four. Mm, that is true. So if you if you can bunch them all together into full stacks, I'm... you just get rid of the units you yeah, don't need. Yeah, I'm doing that now. There we go. Got rid of another one. Down to uh, three. Three seven one. There we go. There we go, indeed. Particularly, if you need to consolidate your forces to push north, because if you can take out the last, what was that settlement? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, come in. I was not expecting this. Oh, I, yes. I'm not ready for this at all. You might be able to get your. Um, I could get possibly get my fleet over there. Oh, is they going no, to battle? Uh, yep. Yeah, nah, it's too late. Too oh. late for that. We're all done. <laughs> okay. Interesting. We may Ooh. have a battle on our hands. Yeah, we do. We have a save as well being dropped. <laughs> Oh, it's good odds for me. That's, that's just a force of habit doing a quick save. Yeah, that's I fine. Know. It, was one, it was one of our unspoken rules. If we lose a battle, we lose a battle. Yeah. I need to think very, very hard about this. That's fine. I will um, I'll give you your time. I won't I won't rush you. <sighs> I, while, 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 we're, while we're waiting, I will apologize for there not being an episode, um, well, the week that we're recording this. But yeah, so last week, this will probably be coming out on like the Friday the third or whatever it is hmm. so I apologize but me and Scrim have both been I've been away for a bit Scrim and, uh, has been busy working with stuff. hard yes and oh I've got a funny story being knocked, off, about packers. being knocked off bikes and stuff like that but <laughs> yeah that was that wasn't fun no that, that, that's hurt quite a bit but yeah we are we are hopefully gonna be back with uh, a regular uploads on Fridays so hopefully this uh, long Long continues. I will go with absolutely. I'm looking very much enjoying uh, killing what we're doing Athenians, here. and I'm about to kill some oh, Croatians. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm a little bit scared because I need to very. I don't know what. To... Your garrison army might be okay because these are all 
Like they're, they're I have only a lot. Half units. Yeah, I have a lot of units, but they're half units. Well, so are mine. They're not what? fully replenished from oh, the last they're battle. Not. Oh dear. No, I'm very much lacking in manpower. Oh, that's why I'm scared. Yeah, I did think 208 was a strange number. Yeah, <laughs> I have to think very carefully on what I'm going to do here. Yeah, I'm. I'm still loading in, which is it's just taking its time loading in. That's fine by me. I'm thinking, <laughs> you thinking think hard. Think away. There's a steam engine coming out of my ears in the moment. Just a steam pouring out. <laughs> oh, I, I wish I could see this. <laughs> a face of concentration while looking at a house. Yes. It's, uh... But no, I mean, I've got. Yeah, I've just got a lot. Of, at least a lot of hot plates was... and some javies. What I will say is the um. The village is very different to what we've usually fought in, so oh. at least it's a different layout. That is good. I, I still would, don't know what I'm going to yeah, do. Yeah, I would cut this out, like this loading screen, but I've now done a big apology about uploads and stuff, so I'm, I'm kind of just going to have to leave it in there and just just wait. Okay, we we go. Go. Should I tell you my funny alpaca story? Oh, go for it. I've just got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I get, yeah, I have as well. I will tell you another time. No, go, go for it. We can talk about alpacas while we fight. <laughs> so, in college... Mm -hmm. Have to look after the alpacas. So, one of the jobs is to moisturize the alpacas during the springtime because uh, obviously they've got dry skin and that's uh, we have to look after them. Yeah. So, the females have udders for their careers, the careers being the baby. Yeah. And we had to moisturize those parts. So, we're sitting there moisturizing the udders. And then we restrain this one alpaca and go down to uh, moisturize them. He goes, Oh, there's, uh, there's no udders. I can't find it. Oh, I found oh. one. Here's, here's that one udder. Uh, teacher, why is there only one udder? Well, Christopher, that's a male. Uh, I'll uh, leave the rest to your imagination. Oh, no. Oh no. Yeah, I've never seen teachers uh, literally just sat there just like, oh, no. And everyone's just sat there just, or stood there just, I, I can't explain <laughs> to you. Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> it's remarkable. Okay. I don't know what to do here because this is an actual fleet. This is not like transport ships. This is an actual fleet I need to contend with. I'm just having a look at my uh, my troops. They look very nice. What am I going to do? These are... I see some bumblebee shields and some weird <laughs> three-legged shields and some That's funny faces. <laughs> we got some, got some good shield art. Oh, and a dolphin and a scorpion. Sorry. I'd like you're concentrating as me now describing like every shield in my army. You, yeah. <laughs> I love how you're just like, oh, aren't those shields cute? And I'm sitting there going, oh, I'm, uh, how am I going to win this? This is this is one of these things which I call a, ma a big test as a total war player to see if you can win a battle against all odds. Yeah, it is going to be a good test, and it's also going to I'm going to lose a lot of credential if uh, I lose this. <laughs> oh, how am I going to do this? Right, you guys are going to do that. If I do a bit of this, do a bit of that. I don't see any other tactic I can use currently. So I can do that, I can do that, you can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, what if I, do? If I yeah, I'll do this, that. If I lose this, I'm going to blame it and just, uh, and just say, I wanted you to win. Just so <laughs> you hold on to your settlement, but I can't do that. That's a, that's a rule. You've, you've got to play as Athens. You've yeah. got to beat me, and I've yeah. got to try and beat you. I'm gonna. That's, my, that's actually my farming settlement. That is literally everything I've fought towards. So this oh, is the no. only thing. Oh, the one turn a, away from a shit battle. Interesting. Here we go. It's very very slow start as the ships slowly gain them. I'm just wondering what to do really. I'm just scared. <laughs> I would be too, Scrim. I would be I'm too. a little bit scared. What are you doing with that one? Go away. Uh, go, 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 go. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of... Oh, an entire unit has perished. I always Have love I that hit? happens. Yeah, you took my... Your uh, general took out, like, a really good ship. Good. Well, not a really good ship, but you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. You go got forward, that one. go forward, go forward. Sorry, this is me now. <laughs> yes! My ship that was running away is blocked. blocked no, come on. 
Excuse Come me. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Push forward. Push forward. Keep pushing forward. Push forward. Come on. Yes. Run away. Run away. Run away. I'm actually really tense right now. <laughs> Please yeah, push. You. Oh, 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 that was bad. That was really bad. Yeah, oh, no. I, oh, no. They're drowning. I got you. <laughs> oh, I also don't I like. Split into yeah, two. That was, that was painful for both of us. I like. I was focusing so much on taking out. I don't know. I don't know what I was focusing on, really. I was just trying to take I, out your javelin, man. Yeah, I just had, I think I had too many ships that I was like, I mean, I don't think you can ever have too many ships, but I was just focusing on trying to get your general because <sighs> I realized I'd put all my javis on the side and I really shouldn't have. I should have left them in the, at the back. I don't actually know what I'm going to do now. I, didn't, I did think it's very brave of you to uh, send all your troops out to uh, get massacred scrim. The way I see it is if my troops are at half strength, if I can smash out a ship, I'd have wiped out an entire unit. So I would have got more kills wiping out a ship than I would have done just battling it out. It is true, yeah. I think you did the, the smartest. That was the smarter move. So, yes, yeah, so that's three javelins down. Yeah, it's still... That's three less units to worry yeah, about. It's just that you've got to be careful with your ships. And um, yeah. you, you lose an entire unit if I destroy one of yours. I know, but they're all they're all like seventeen units strong. Like one of my arch units had seventeen men in its entire oh, unit. Yeah. So losing seventeen men is just no loss at all. Yeah, it's the true. only full stack, in fact, was my uh, my actual navy, which is my general, and well, I think it's two ships. Um, yeah, there were a few good ships on there. Right, we've got we've got some stuff happening now. Yeah, me being very very uh, tense. Very, very tense indeed. I wonder. Uh, I do like that the ships now rever reverse off. Yeah, they used to leave it. If you had like a ship with a tower on it, if you left it there before an update, it would have carried on shooting at people. Yeah, now it's uh, not going to do that. It's just going to. What? Run away. Run away. Excuse me, can we come and uh, land? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you can't. That's really rude. I know it's rude, and I don't care. <laughs> I'm coming to kill you. Ah, with Javis. He's going to well, try and out-Javi me. Out-Javi you. I'm going to be doing something. This is uh, something I'm going to try. Interesting. I like your tactics. I'm not quite sure what they are, but I like them. I am planning to just go... Like that, for my viewers. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Scrim, I, I presume Scrim cannot see this. No. Rubbish. I can't. Good, that's what I would like to hear. <laughs> General, come. The, the aim of the game is now maximum damage. That's all I can achieve at this point in time. Mm, very much so. You're very free to start throwing those javelins at any time now. Oh, <laughs> your guys. There we go. Yeah, they're just they're just thinking about it, which is irritating to say the least. Right, we will prepare the invasion. There's no way to even close the gap here. This is the really annoying thing. Just carry on this. I can't one. actually. This is. <laughs> go that way as well for all those, and then we just hold here. Oh, I just realized you're firing nicely at my men here. Shame oh, they, yeah. Shame they can't just like. Not. <laughs> yeah. I was going to just say. They're armored like, though. They're not yeah, I mean, I was hoping that they'd have like a hoplite formation, but they don't really. Yours do. Mine are just marines, and they just charge and like, ah, what are we doing? What are we doing again? <laughs> <laughs> Marines, yay! Just anything at this point. Just anything at this point. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm losing ground. Thank you, advisor. <laughs> I I've got battle is hitting in our favor. We lost the sea. We're definitely going to lose the ground. Yeah. My general still hasn't come to the flipping. I've told him about twenty Probably. times to hurry up and get to the. Uh, goddamn. Probably don't need him anymore. I I. Don't know if you if I did it slowly, you could beat me bit by, 
by bit. Oh yeah, if you sent one unit at a time, definitely. But um, and that's not gonna happen. Uh, all my javelins have already used all their ammunition. I shouldn't have told you really? that, but yeah, they have like no ammunition. It's so dumb. Yeah, it's because of well. Mm -hmm. Huh. Luckily, skirmish mode is uh, keeping my javelins alive. Yeah. Unfortunately, your javelins are just smashed into mine. Your your hoplites aren't going to reach mine. Oh yeah, yeah. But now my uh, hoplites are. You're really... driving them off though. Yeah. Yeah, that's all that needs to be done. I have two units now that can do that. That's all <sighs> that needs to be done. And that's it. One unit's already uh, broken. Gone. Charge in, boys! Kill them all! Show them how real men fight. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Scrim. I know you wanted to hold on to this settlement. I is. literally spent like six grand pushing in upgrades and they're one turn away. Oh. And Athens does this. I know. How could it? Uh, there we go. That was unfortunate. You've got a large a army. close to V, apparently. I don't think it really was. I think no, it really wasn't. I think I mean, it's just because I lost like just over a hundred and six, nearly hundred and seventy. So no, you did lose three stacks of javelin, then, so yeah, I guess that's what it just counts as close. But um, you've got an army very, very near, so you could just sweep back in and take it. I think. Yeah, I could. It's just the irritation of uh, it takes two turns to get there, and it's the irritation. Of... I can support again with my navy if needs be. Yeah, that'd be good. Because that settlement was literally what, what I was going to build my cities with. It was a food source. I mean, they'll, they'll still be there because that's the good thing about the Greek um, uh, culture. But like all these nations, like you won't have to rebuild. And Athens, well, won't, Athens probably won't. Yeah, there'll still be fields and stuff, actually. Yeah. yeah, Athens won't probably rip them down because just reasons. I don't know. Yeah, there'll still be fields and stuff at least, because I obviously demolished what they had and yeah. replaced it. So there'll be fields in there. Yeah, but um, there's still lots of money, and I'm actually now starving. Oh dear, I I am still I'm in ditch. You're starving. Ah, perfect. Alliance. I'll give you some food. I'll give me some food, and I'll give you some money. How about that? <sighs> that sounds like a grand idea. If only we could. Yeah, I know. I wish that was like a sort of a a trade deal that you could do. Might be a mod ramp for it. That might be, yeah. It's a bit late now to start adding mods. <laughs> yeah. It's a salient right. Point. Let's Dude. see. Oh, yeah. My admiral's being killed. Sad. Oh, no. And because my armies are in the... Na in the... One in place the... where... Oh, the navy. Yeah, the navy's still there. I can't... <laughs> I can... i confused. <laughs> mm. So the navy basically... It's only got seven units. They've got no... They got no garrison. They got sixty oh. hoplites. So it's time to land my forces. Yeah. Uh, let's put them into navy stance, and I can land them onto the back of this island here. Can you? I wonder if. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I've just force marched them. So yeah, yeah, they're safe now. They're hiding for me. Take that back next turn. Unfortunately, I've left my garrison undefended. But there is actually m actual hoplites. In my iron settlement, so hopefully that navy won't do any more damage. Yeah. Also, I was going to say that like they're a fairly strong uh, garrison. Like it's just oh, got gotcha. a little bit of only a little bit of. Uh... I forgot what I was going to say. Now starvation's happened there. That's happened. That's the one. That should be okay. I yeah. think I'm going to build a new navy though. I've got plenty of generals I can get for. Which is not. Um, I'm going to think this one because he's got some decent, decent stuff going for him. So you're he's just going to perch him. <laughs> He is indeed. I'm going to leave you here in my iron settlement just to build four turns for armored marines. It's a long time. Mm. Well, I've got a few things I've just realized I can do for sorting out my... I'm now down to 145 in stuff. Oh, a politician has returned. Return... Oh, oh, yes, oh yeah, because we've got generals. generals. I was wondering why that was. It's like, I got lots more... Um, like... Oh, oh, wow. What? I did not look at my um, risk factor for uh, war. It's at 60%. Oh, I better look at mine. Oh, 18. I can't actually afford to spend Why is money on it. mine on... I can't even secure loyalty. Oh. I've ended my turn. 
it should be okay. And you've not got any generals that are like not with your faction, I'm pretty, don't you? I just, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, um, have a clue. Because they're the very strong armies that I'm leaving there. Disciples of Zeus is uh, currently an army. Mm. Disciples of Poseidon, no, Poseidon is an army. Mm -hmm. Admiral is Zeus. And my faction leader is another army. So yeah, I need to be very, very lucky next turn, or that's a very powerful army, mm. which is about to become an issue. Oh, I can't actually afford to do that upgrade. That's annoying. Luckily, the army is also in Andros, so if it does turn... It'll be okay. Well, I won't lose the settlement mm. as quickly as I might. <laughs> it does mean I have to push my army from Oreos back down. That leaves it open to Athens. I might be in Boeotia for a little bit longer. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Boeotia. I'm going to send this army off. We're going to make some expeditions. Oh, and we took attrition. Nice. Just what we needed. Jeez, that's a lot of attrition, actually. Stay on the path, you fools. <laughs> 18. I just realised winter is going to be very difficult uh, invading Macedon. Yeah, it's just very hilly. I mean, we should be okay. It's more thinking because uh, very hilly equals lots of snow and that equals attrition. Yeah, I mean, if you stay on the path, then... It should be okay on the path, yeah. Yeah. Stay on the path. Um, then we're going to do pit mine. Excellent. Um, that should help the economy again. <laughs> Just save my economy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally all I can do. Right. Is there any of... Okay, I've got a skill for a spy. Is there any of these which, like, improve um, upkeep? No. No. Any oh of these? dear! Oh dear! I know, it's hard. Larissa's taking um, either attrition or being attacked by Athens. I think. Mm. This city is suffering. It's a suffering city. No, none of these help. Um. Hmm. I don't really Still know. lots of thinking. Yeah. I don't really know which one I want. I'm going to go with Supplier, and that will help, and then return from Wounds. Um, if I did something here, I'm probably, I probably can't really afford to do any sabotaging. Can't waste money on things like that. <laughs> um, I'm going to end my turn. Oh, actually, no. I've just realized, I have just realized the time, and it is probably time to wrap up this episode. So you, it? yeah, it, we have Ooh. got we have already that battle. It took us out of it, Scrum. The, it did, and the cliffhanger. Of, I don't know where I'm going to get civil now. Yeah, so we will leave it here, and we'll find out in the next episode whether Scrim uh, can get civil war and can survive it and can take uh. back his settlement. So uh, if you guys have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>